let's quickly talk about Regions credit card. And the thing here is that Regions has a lot of credit cards. And uh, in today's conversation, I really want to share with you the hacks, the latest hacks that you can apply right now to be approved for one of the four Regions business credit card, not business credit card, but personal credit cards, because they have four personal credit cards and they have two or three business credit cards. It's really important if you want to really uh, form a relationship with Regions that you start early. So here is the approach I really want you to pay attention to. The first card you want to pay attention to is called the Regions Premium Visa Signature. And this card is fantastic. The only thing is this is one of the premium, uh, the higher tier uh, personal credit cards at, at Regions. This, you, you're gonna need uh, good credit. And the card comes with uh, a 125 annual fees. And the cool thing about this card is that you are able to earn 30,000 bonus points redeemable for a $300 cash on making at least $2,000 in qualifying purchases in the first 90 days of account opening. So this is kind of cool. When you really think about it, you, this is kind of cool because you are collecting bonus points. And so you earn 1.5%, 1.5 points rather, for every dollar spent on qualifying purchases. And even better, you can redeem points for a variety of rewards, including cash equal to 1% of the purchases that earn you those points, as well as gift cards, travel, and merchandise. Fantastic. By the way, boss, welcome back to the show. It's really a pleasure to have you here. We love having this kind of conversations every now and then. And the thing here is that when we talk about regions, you, you need to understand there are four primary credit cards. And I'm, I'm, I'm speaking to you right now about the regions premium visa signature card and the APR, the APR on purchases on those cards, you have a 0% APR for 12 months. That's for purchases, but also for balance transfers. And after that, the APR will oscillate from 18.74% to 28.74%. So overall, this is a great card. I mean, we love the fact that uh, you are able to get like the 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 appeal of this card lies basically in the fact that you earn thirty thousand bonus points. That's all. So this is not a card that you you want to use for balance transfers at all. No, you want to use this card to actually accumulate bonus points, and then you can actually take those bonus points later on. So you can redeem them. Okay, you can redeem them for a variety of uh, rewards. You know, like I said, equal, like including cash equal to 1% of the purchases that earn you those points, as well as gift cards, travel, and merchandise. Now, let me talk to you about the second card here. Now, before I go to the second card, I want to say one thing about that. I still want to remain on the Regions Premium Visa Signature card. This is a card that actually is great in terms of uh, the amenities that come with it. Okay. And the thing here is that you need to have a relationship with Regions. You need to have a, a, a strong relationship. You need to parlay their relationship with Regions to actually get the card that you need. And this is the card that you want to use if you have, a, let's say you have a special purchase coming up, for example or you have a, something that they really like, it's one of those cards that you use only for a specific spe specific purpose. Remember, you are able to earn 1.5 points for every dollar spent on qualifying purchases. And those qualifying purchases differ depending on uh, the state you applied from. And also the, the, it, it also changes all the time. So you need to actually uh, stay in contact with the regions to be sure that those purchases are qualified. Either way, before you before you make before you charge anything on the card that is uh, of consequential amount, make sure that you check with Regions to make sure that uh, the transaction qualifies as, as uh, a uh, you know as a purchase. Because otherwise, you'll be spending a lot of cash on, on this on this a credit card, but you're not getting credit for it. You need to get credit for things. You gotta have credit. You gotta you gotta you deserve credit for things. Okay, and so one thing I also need to say here is that here. You have uh, the zero percent APR that I just spoke to you about the 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 zero percent for twelve months. This is uh, this zero percent intro offer is applicable on balance transfers requested within sixty days of account opening. Okay, so it has to be it has to be made within sixty days. But hey, one thing I also need to I want you to remember here is that this is a card for for families also. I mean, based on our research, the region's uh, premium, this premium card is great for families. If you have a family and you have a, you make, you make a diversified, let's say a diverse assortment of purchases every, every month from, uh, from groceries to vacations, to uh, kids after school play to uh, utilities. If you have this diversity of expenses that you charge on the card, you will love, you will love this card, the, the region's premium 
visa signature and it is a card that you want to carry for for a long time you can actually uh, mix this card with other uh, cards i mean we have an entire video that will talk about that how to actually pair the regions credit card with a chase and, and, and vice versa The second card I want to acquaint you with is called the Regions Explorer Visa Credit Card. And this card, see, the card here is really, this gives you the opportunity to do a lot of things. But this card is fantastic because you are able to qualify with bad credit. So if you have, let's say, uh, bad credit, you have poor credit, you have anything that is below 579 and you're looking for, like this is a secure credit card. The, it's called Explorer, but you're not exploring anything. You're just exploring your own your own security, your own uh, deposit. So it is a secure credit card, but it is still good anyway because you can actually use this card if you use this card properly. You can parlay the the uh, the good uh, let's say the good uh, the, the good the goodwill you accumulated with this card. You can actually uh, you can graduate real fast. Okay, you can graduate real real fast. This is really fantastic. And what we love about this card is that basically. But by the way, before I talk about the, the card itself, I want to remind you, boss, I want to remind you of today's topic. We're having a conversation about um, Regents Bank credit card. What the strategy? What's the strategy for the for the average car holder? What can you do to actually uh, increase your chances of getting the uh, high limits? And so the thing here is that the minimum security deposit on this card is two hundred fifty, and there are there are no there are no one time fees. There is an annual fee of twenty nine dollars, and what we what we know from experience here is that Regents they will, they will actually um, review your account and uh, they will upgrade you. They will promote you with, uh, if you have a proper behavior, if you have a responsible behavior, they will actually raise you, they will upgrade you. They will uh, bring, they will change your secure credit card to an unsecured credit card within four to six months. So hope is there, hope is not lost at all. You just have to make sure that you are comfortable, that you that you play ball, that you play ball with, uh, with regions, okay? Not only, uh, in terms of uh, your your credit card but also in terms of how you manage your uh, bank account with them okay it's all about but it, what really helps is that if you have a direct deposit with uh, regions it, re it really helps a lot it helps like crazy and one thing i also want to say here is that the epr on purchases here is 27.74 percent okay there are no foreign foreign fees foreign exchange fees Okay, you can qualify with bad credit. You can qualify with bankruptcy. Not a problem. If you have collections on your FACO, on your FACO report, you can still qualify for this uh, Regions, uh, Regions Explorer Visa credit card. Another thing I want to say here is that when we talk about secure credit card in general, sometimes you might be thinking, well, is uh, Regions the best, uh, is this Regions Explorer Visa credit card the best one for me, right? You got to ask yourself. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe yes, maybe not. Because maybe you can just go for a card such as Aspire or Avant, which is unsecured, which which also, which also helps you uh, build your credit, okay? The only thing, the only reason why you might want to use a uh, this, re this uh, secure credit card at Regions, the Explorer Visa credit card, is that if you have a strong relationship with, with Regions, and you want to cultivate even a stronger relationship, you want to have a tighter relationship with them, then you want to get all your credit products from them. That way you are building a relationship and then when it comes time to applying for a bigger credit facility, let's say a mortgage or a real estate loan or a, a car loan, Regents will, will actually remember you and give you the funds with no problem. So the thing is that remember that when we talk about Regents credit cards, right? We're speaking about an, an institution that is uh, geo restricted so regions though is only available in a few states and so you got to really make sure that you qualify in terms of your geography to actually uh, to actually get a business credit card or a personal credit card from uh, regions in the first place that's if you don't have a relationship and you are tr you don't have a relationship yet and you are trying to establish a relationship okay and by the way you need to have that relationship one thing i also need to say here is that at the end of the day what really matters is uh, how you are able to uh, change, how you are able to, how do I say this? How, do, how you are able to uh, adapt your relationship with uh, regions, regardless of the credit card that you have. What am I trying to say here? See, when you have the Explorer Visa credit card, which is a secured credit card, which is a collateralized credit card, 
you and if you are if you're showing regions that you know how to manage that and you are managing it properly you are making payments on time you're never going like you you're keeping your cor be below a certain amount regions will see all this and they track everything by the way though they track everything so they basically will see that you're making progress on your financial path on your path to financial recovery and so they'll help you out they will actually upgrade your your card real quick and they'll and going forward if you make payments you don't have to pay right away you just have to pay at the end of the month The third card I want to I want to share with you here is uh, it's called uh, the Regions Prestige Visa Signature Credit Card, and uh, so this is uh, this card is just fantastic. This is another card that allows you to earn bonus points. So basically, you have this is a rewards points, and you can earn ten thousand bonus points redeemable for one hundred dollars. In other words, one point is worth like one cent. So this is redeem redeemable for ten ten thousand. No, this is a rede redeemable for one hundred dollars. And you have to make at least $500 in qualifying purchases in the first 90 days of account opening. And when those net purchases total at least $1,000, you will earn an additional 10,000 points. So 10,000 points, that's about $10. Okay. And one thing I want to say here is that 10,000 points is, is worth $100, by the way. So you can earn three points per dollar spent on dining and entertainment purchases, three, two points per dollar spent on gas and grocery store purchases, and one point for for every dollar spent on all other purchases so this is kind of cool when you really close your eyes and think about it this is really good this is a really good offer and and even cooler you can redeem your points for gift cards merchandise travel even cash credited directly to your regions checking account and so this is kind of cool and so the more pro the more regions products and services you use the more points you earn so the for this card for the regions prestige visa secure credit card when you have the apr on purchases you have zero percent intro apr for 12 months so here the apr is kind of kind of oscillates this is this is a little this is a, this is good i mean if you think about it and uh so that that zero percent apr applies also to balance transfers okay now the balance transfers is available for 12 months that's when you don't pay anything but after that you have to pay stuff okay and uh, but so overall this is a great card and one thing i, I want to say also is that uh, you have to uh, so this card is great if you are looking for a high rewards rate credit card you want to take advantage of uh, a balance transfer fee because i mean not take advantage but you 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 don't mind actually uh, the balance transfer fee so you can take advantage of uh, an opportunity even though you have a balance transfer fee but the card actually requires good to excellent credit okay you gotta have good to excellent credit otherwise you you will not qualify for this card and so it, yeah this is one of the highest tier credit card that the regions has And one thing I want to say here is that, boss, I want to quickly remind you of today's topic. We are having a conversation about what? We're talking about Regents Bank credit card strategy. How do you actually uh, how do you actually work out the system so that you can you can be qualified? Now, this card, this this specific card requires a higher credit limit. And sometimes the Regents also want to that like, like before Regents issued this card to you, they will take a look at your cash inflows and cash outflows. They might actually ask you for your for your tax returns. They might ask you for your financial state, your personal financial statements, your, your PFS. So it's one of those things where Regents wants to make sure before they grant you uh, their uh, their premium credit card that you are able to you are in a position where you can repay whatever ba whatever balance you charge on the card in the first place. So this is really really good. And one thing I also want to say here is that you need to understand that Regents is constantly looking at uh, your income levels, they're constantly looking at your your education, constantly looking at your ways that they can solidify your their relationship with you okay and if they can solidify their relationship with you by giving you this credit card the prestige visa signature credit card why not okay why why not and so so it's one of those things what we have seen like two of our team members does have like two of our team members do have this uh, region uh, regions prestige visa signature card and they actually got it by going to a branch like all those years, they try to get the card by applying online, and then it, and their asses got denied over and over and over. And then they just realized, hey, listen, 
we'll go to a branch we'll just make our case there we'll press our case there we'll explain everything and then uh, we'll see if they will accept it or not or not and, and they were really surprised two days ago that they actually got approved so and so it, it is totally possible it's totally possible totally possible and one thing i also want to say here is that you are able to actually get this card even if you don't have a, a high credit score you just need to have this a strong relationship with uh, regions so that you are able to uh, parlay that relationship into a high limit credit card this is a card that where regions has been known to grant very high limits because usually regions credit credit limits are around like uh like they're usually like a uh, fifty thousand that means fifty five thousand to what to ten thousand to fifteen thousand if you're lucky but if you have a strong relationship with regions you are able to get this card at around 50 50 grand limits this is kind of cool this is really really good The fourth card I want to acquaint you with uh, in today's conversation is called the Regions Life Visa Credit Card, okay? And this is a card that, that wants you, uh, where you gotta have good to excellent credit. And basically it's a card that actually has no annual fee. We love that a lot. And the EPR here is really, really uh, generous. So it's not it's not a, it's not 12 months anymore. You have a 0% intro APR for 15 months. And uh, the APR after, after that goes from 16.74% to, uh, to 26.24 percent so the card this card is just fantastic because it has no membership fees no intro apr on purchases no intro apr on balance transfers no foreign fee no no rewards no initial reward bonus and balance transfer fee and this card is it's just great and let's dig a little deeper here so we have uh, everybody's on the same page so the thing here is that the card actually is great and you are able to get uh, approved real fast as a matter of fact to be approved for a regions bank credit card you just need three things you just need your your uh, your proof of employment you just need your uh, proof of income and the third thing is they want you to have your bank statements in addition to your uh, your 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 tax returns that's all nothing complicated they'll ask you of course once you go through the, the process they'll ask you what you want to qualify for why do you need the cash for for your own business and uh, the thing here is that because they have to do this from a regulatory perspective to make sure that you're not using the cash for something something fishy and uh, so they will ask you and so they also they also want to make sure that you are aware like your husband or your wife or your spouse or whatever like know that uh, if you're using the regions bank credit card that you you are using it uh, appropriately because whatever charges are left on the card might actually uh, creep like they might actually cripple into your personal credit score or into your, your wife or, or husband's credit credit scores so this is important and one thing i also want to say here is that uh you have to make sure when we talk about your tax returns it must be your tax returns for the last three years three years three full years not one year not two years three full years so if you're able to do this then you are you are bound to get uh, a very high limits i would say uh regions bank credit card and the the thing is that just make sure again once again that you are in the geography that they cover the, the geography that uh regions covers so that you have a, a stellar stellar presentation so the bottom line here is that when the presentation that you're going to make if you try to uh get approved for an, your application so because if you apply online no problem if you go to a branch you have, you're gonna have to talk if you go to a uh, a restaurant you might not have to talk Especially if you go like very early, like I, I usually do. Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. In today's conversation, I was just quickly talking to you about the Regions Bank credit card strategies. And I'll just share with you a few uh, tips here and there that will help you get the business, business strategy that you need and deserve. Thank you. God bless you. I'll see you next time. But until then, remember, stay Marvelous.